सर्वान नमस्कार आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस टुडे सेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट इज मीन बाय कंडोक्टोमेट्रिक टाइट्रेशन एंड व्हाट आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ कंडोक्टोमेट्रिक टाइट्रेशन कर सो वी हैव फोर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ कर कर फॉर स्ट्रांग एसिड स्ट्रांग बेस स्ट्रांग एसिड वीक बेस वीक एसिड स्ट्रांग बेस एंड वीक एसिड वीक बेस सो लेट इज डिस्कस इन डिटेल now the word titration means what okay so we have seen this titration meaning of titration in our volumetric analysis chapter so this titration is a process of determination of concentration of unknown solution by using a solution of known concentration is called as titration so here unknown concentration so sorry concentration of unknown solution is determined by using a known concentration solution this known concentration solution is also called as standard solution known concentration solution is also called as the standard solution and when we use this standard solution in titration process then it is called as titrant the solution with unknown concentration is called as titer or titrant okay d for dol titrant now in conductometric titration the conductance of unknown concentration solution is measured this conductance is directly proportional to the concentration of unknown solution more the concentration so according conductance will vary so instrumentation so this is the basic instrument which is used for conductance measurement so this is our uh, container or let's say it is called as a beaker and this beaker contain this magnetic needle and this blue colored is called as the electrolyte solution this is the electrode and this electrode is called as the conductivity cell and this electrode is connected to a conductivity meter here at the display we can measure the uh, value numerical value of conductance directly and he this is the burette and this contain our titrant solution okay standard solution whose concentration is known and this is the needle okay this is the magnetic <coughs> needle <coughs> it stir the solution continuously so there are four different types of conductometric titration curve so curve for strong acid strong base titration curve for strong acid weak base weak acid strong base and last one weak acid weak base so let us discuss each curve one by one so this is the strong acid strong base so hcl is a strong acid noh is a strong base and it will react with each other it will form na nacl and the water so here the beaker contains the strong acid and the burette is filled with the strong base okay strong base is here nawh solutions and when you titrate this strong acid solution with the strong base then we get this kind of titration curve conductometric titration curve so here on the y axis conductance is plotted on and on x axis ml of titrant that is noh added is plotted on this here so initially you can notice that the conductance value is at higher side okay and as you go on adding the strong base in the strong electrolyte solution okay here hcl solution then what happens the conductance start decreasing okay and it will decrease up to this point and then after that conductance will start again increasing linearly with further addition of the strong base now what is the reason why the conductance decreases here because the h plus ions and if you compare the h plus ion and na plus ion then in this case the h plus ion have stronger ionic mobility than the na plus ions so as you go on adding the nawh the hcl will gets consumed and it will form the water in the solution and at this point this point is called as the end point so after this point okay the further addition of nawh will lead to the increase in the conductance value so from this end point value we can 
determine the exact concentration of our unknown acid solution okay so it is measured with the help of conductivity cell and this uh, the reading is note down from directly conductivity meter second plot is strong acid weak base here weak base is ammonium hydroxide and strong acid is hcl so the strong acid is filled in the beaker and the weak base is filled in the burette the variation of conductance with the ml of this titrant added that is weak base added is here okay so same curve we will observe up to this end point then after that there is very slow increase in the conductance okay so in in previous case the conductance value was increasing like this okay this was sharp increase linear increase and here is very slow increase now what is the reason okay so up to this end point what is happening this all the h plus ions are getting consumed and it is forming nh4 plus cl and this nh4 cl is a strong electrolyte it dissociates completely so at this point further addition of weak base okay this weak base dissociated at NH, nh4 plus and oh minus okay so there is the less dissociation of weak base also the strong electrolyte nh4 cl okay it will it, it has the common ion look at this weak base and this is the salt okay so this common ion nh4 plus will suppress the dissociation of ammonium hydroxide therefore we observe a very slow increase in the conductance value for titration curve of strong acid weak base third curve is weak acid strong base here weak acid used is a acetic acid and strong base used is a NOH and this NOH is filled in the burette and in the conical flask we uh, weak acid is taken so the variation of conductance with ml of titrant added that is the NOH added is like this okay so here you observe this curve carefully since the acetic acid is a weak acid so it has very less dissociation hence it its concentration is less therefore the conductance is less as we discussed the conductance value is directly proportional to the concentration of the electrolyte so slowly conductance value is here since it is a weak electrolyte for strong electrolyte conductance value is the higher now as you go on adding the NOH what will happen this Na plus ion will interact with the acetate ion and it will form the strong electrolyte salt okay sodium acetate salt so at one point okay at this point this is the end point what is happening the all molecules of weak weak electrolyte that is the weak acid is getting consumed and it will form the sodium acetate now the NOH is a strong electrolyte it dissociates completely therefore the further addition of NOH after end point there will be sharp increase in the conductance value okay so why because NOH is a strong electrolyte it dissociates completely and why this is a slow decrease because acetic acid is a weak electrolyte and it dissociates partially or in less quantity last curve is weak acid weak base so acetic acid is a weak acid and ammonium hydroxide is a weak base so it will react with each other and it will form ammonium acetate plus water this ammonium acetate is a strong electrolyte salt and the nature of this curve is like this okay now here you observe that initially there is a decrease in the conductance value then it will increase and after certain time there is the constant value there is the constant value now what is the reasoning or logic behind this okay so here you can notice that the conductance decreases with the addition of ammonium hydroxide up to this point and it passes through a minimum point this is the minimum point it then increases with more and more amount of ammonium acetate here it is increasing because it is formation of the ammonium acetate and this ammonium acetate is a strong electrolyte after the equivalence point 
okay this is the equivalence point what is happening the conductance of solution remains almost constant conductance of solution remains almost constant this is because the small extent of dissociation of ammonium hydroxide which is further suppressed by ammonium acetate okay this is the strong electrolyte so ha this constant is because of the dissociation of ammonium hydroxide and after certain time only less quantity of ammonium hydroxide will be present in the solution because of the common ion effect so in summary we have seen these four types of conductometric titration curve this is this curve is for the strong acid strong base hcl and naoh so sharp decrease up to equivalence point then again sharp increase after the equivalence point because both are the strong electrolyte which dissociate completely in this case strong acid weak base hcl and ammonium hydroxide a strong decrease and then okay less decrease sorry less in increase in the conductance value okay this is because of the complete dissociation and this is because of the incomplete or less dissociation of weak electrolyte so here weak acid strong base same logic is here and weak acid weak base so first there is decrease mini okay this curve passes through a minimum then there this is the increase this portion is because of the ammonium acetate that is a strong electrolyte and this is the less dissociation of ammonium hydroxide okay so thank you for watching this session if you have any kind of doubt then please watch this session again and again or you can whatsapp me so thank you